Hello and welcome to this video where we're now going to be taking a look at building a bump offset material. So bump offset material is uh, basically a material that's going to help give the illusion that something has been offsetted. So in the example we're going to be doing today, it's going to be giving you the illusion that uh, there is an interior to a flat surface. Now, uh, the first thing I want to do actually is jump inside Photoshop here and I just want to show you the images I have set up. So I have the actual interior, I have the normal map, I have the diffuse map, and I also have this uh, multicolored map which actually has a, um, we actually have a, a, a different channel here, so we have a red channel, a green channel, and a blue channel, and each side where these has different images. So in the red channel we have a mask, in uh, the blue channel, uh, sorry green channel we have uh, a sort of uh, emissive um, texture if we'd like to use that and we also have a specular now I, I've, I've basically packed it like this so we're not really use it, losing any um, uh, memory if we uh, choose to utilize those extra um, um, those extra channels so let's jump into our uh, scene here let's go to textures and I'm going to import those textures so I'm going to right click choose import and I've saved these as Brick Diffuse, Brick Normal, Interior, and MES for Mask, Emissive, and Specular. Okay, so we've imported those textures. Now let's go to Materials. And we're going to go to Create uh, Material. And we're going to call this Offset Underscore. Interior. So let's open this material here. Let's go to textures and uh, basically we're going to bring in our two basic materials. So let's see, we have the base. Let's plug the base in and the normal. Okay, so let's bring in this, uh, this uh, MES texture. Okay, now if we wanted to, just for the sake of it, we could plug the blue channel into the specular. And you see we have a, a bit of a change in the specularity here. So actually if I, uh, if I break that, you can see there's a fairly big difference in specularity. Okay, so that's it without, and that's it with the specular. So let's bring in our interior. And we're going to drag this in here. And uh, let's just move this around. So if we plug the interior straight into the emissive, so let's go to emissive color and let's set this to this box here. You can see that um, this is actually being uh, projected onto the entire material and that is not really what we want. Okay, so if we look on the inside, there we go. So yeah, so everything's being projected on top. So what we're going to do is we are going to multiply and we're going to multiply the uh, emissive and we're going to multiply it by the, the mask here and uh, let this just go ahead and, and save. Okay, so we've uh, multiplied those two together. Now if we plug this into the uh, emissive color, you can see that now we only have uh, that value where the window is. Now, you may be thinking, why didn't we use the um, linear interpolate like we have done in the past? And the reason being is that this is just a cheap way to set up a mask because the emissive only accepts values between uh, one and zero. So multiplying those other values outside of this, um, outside of this uh, mask area is just going to produce black where the wall is. So we have the, um, interior here in the window and uh, what we'd like to do is to offset that so it appears as if um, this image is being pushed back okay so to do that we're going to right click I'm going to type in bump and we want to use this bump offset and we're going to plug this into the uh, interior and it's going to say error because we need to give it a height so we're going to press one to bring in a constant one vector plug this into the height and um, 
if we give this a positive value, it's going to bring it forward. So if we say we set this to one, then it's going to make this appear a little bigger. Uh, maybe we can do something a little bit more extreme, maybe five. Okay, so you can see it gets uh, bigger. So we want to use minus value, so we're going to say minus eight-ish around there. So now you can see we can see inside the interior. So this looks pretty cool. Okay, so the last thing we may want to do is to actually increase the uh, strength of this. So it appears as if there's light spilling out from the window. Okay, and we can do that by multiplying. So we can go we'll multiply this. And we could um, just choose a constant uh, one vector. So we can go give this a value maybe two and plug this in. And we could plug this into the emissive core. And uh, as you can see, the uh, the power of that becomes uh, much stronger. Now we can do a, a bunch of other cool things there. We could uh, start tinting um, the interior here with different colors. And uh, all we'd really have to do is uh, multiply this by a color. Um, we could also, if we were to multiply this uh, by well what we need to do is we need to make a uh, multiply and um, oops there we go Let's set this multiply and if you remember we had the uh, value here for the emissive inside the green so we can multiply that by a color and set this to two and we could plug this in here and then we could also plug this into here okay you can see the effects that that has uh with the window so let's just i'm going to delete this and i'm going to keep to using this one here because i like the the cleanness we get around the the windows obviously that's a great way um of adding maybe dirt to the to the side of the windows if that's something you're you're trying to achieve here so if we save this and uh, we started to apply this material so we can go ahead and uh, apply this there we go so now you can see in the game we can actually uh, give the appearance that there's an interior here now if we parameterize this so if we parameterize the uh, interior image and we uh, parameterize some of these values then we can create a material instant constant and we can easily swap, swap out these materials here so we could uh, parameterize the the masks here we could parameterize this texture we could uh, parameterize this we could parameterize the normal and before you know it we could start building up uh, very complex scenes with different uh, materials and, and different interiors to give uh, a very good um, uh, diversity of uh, materials applied to different surfaces but uh, for now this is uh, about as far as I'm going to take this um, thank you for watching please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video